Hi everyone, I'm Ying Sun from Institute of Computing Technology, Chinese Academy of Sciences. Our work is named the Cost Effective and Interpretable Job Skill Recommendation with Deep Reinforcement Learning, which is a joint work by Institute of Computing Technology, Chinese Academy of Sciences, Baidu Talent Intelligence Center, and Rogers Business School. I will first introduce the background of this study. In the workplace, talents need to master skills so that they can be qualified for their specialized jobs. When they gradually master more and more advanced skills, the talents can earn higher salary and achieve career development. But it's a problem. How to choose the right skill to learn? There are several factors we need to consider including the learning difficulty, short-term benefit, and long-term benefit. For skill recommendation, we can adopt several heuristic methods. For example, we can recommend skills that are similar with the talent skill set, or we can recommend skills required by the jobs the talent may be interested in. However, these methods are weak and cannot explicitly tell the utilities of learning a skill. Then, the talents cannot get enough information to make their choices on their own according to their preferences. Indeed, modeling the utilities of skill learning is a difficult task. For one thing, the utilities differ from human from person to person. For example, learning Python may be easy and beneficial for an IT practitioner, but may be difficult and useless for a salesman. For another thing, the future influence of learning a skill may be abstract, as it is difficult to predict the future learning path of a talent. So, our work aims to solve these challenges to achieve personalized, cost-effective, and sustainable skill recommendation. To achieve this, we propose a data-driven skill recommendation framework based on deep reinforcement learning. Our data are online job advertisements where each record consists of a set of required skills and the job salary. We represent a talent with their skill set and recommend based on the skill set a sequence of skills, so that by learning these recommended skills in order, the talent can gradually achieve sustainable salary increase with low learning difficulty. Our framework contains two components. The first is a skill learning environment, which quantifies the utilities by modeling the job advertisement data. Specifically, it consists of a salary estimator and a difficulty estimator to tell the salary increase and the learning difficulty of a new skill. The second is a skill recommender, which consists of a candidate selector and a deep Q network. The candidate selector filters from the large skill set a set of skills relevant to the talent skill set, and then the deep Q network will estimate the long term utilities, that is, the Q values for each skill and accordingly make the recommendation. For salary estimator, the main idea is to match the skill set with the job advertisement in the market. Specifically, we first measure the probability of a skill set qualified for a job according to the coverage of the job's required skills. Then, we can estimate the expected salary and the talent can get from the specific job. Finally, we estimate the salary of a talent 
as the average top key expects salary, the talent skill set can get from the whole data set. For learning difficulty, with the intuition that learning skills relevant with your skill set is easier, we measure difficulty at the negativity of maximum log the conditional probability of a skill given any subset of the talent skill set. We estimate the probability with skill co-appearance in the job advertisement data. However, there are exponentially large number of subsets, which brings high time complexity for this estimation. So we approximate the esti estimation based on frequent item sets. That is, we only consider the frequent skill sets whose appearing probability is larger, larger than some threshold and ignore the others. Actually, the skill sets who, with low probability may bring noise since they may not support meaningful difficulty estimation. Then we can incrementally update only the frequent subsets at each step. We further proposed an efficient graph-based algorithm to accelerate the process, which can be found in our paper. Now that we have difficulty and salary estimator, we can formulate our reinforcement learning problem. We define the state at the current skill set and define the action as learning a new skill. After learning a new skill, the state will transfer to a new state, which is the current skill set unites the new skill. We have two kinds of rewards, including the difficulty and salary increase. We combine them as a jump reward and formulate a unified Billman equation. Further, we can separate the unine the we can separate the unified Q value into the salary Q value and the difficulty Q value and form their own Bellman equation. We want to provide the user with estimation on separated salary Q value and difficulty Q value. To achieve this, we design a skill recommendation deep Q network to model the two Q values simultaneously, which has a multitask structure so that it separately outputs the two estimated Q values. Basically, the network takes current skill set and the new skill as the input, combine them and extract features, and then fit them into two separate tower layers. We have specially designed the tower layers so that they can take advantage of the deterministic state dynamic of the problem. The details can be found in our paper. We have trained the network with epsilon greedy. We conducted experiments to compare the performance of our model with several baselines, including random selection, Greedy method that exhaustively explores the short-term utility of all the candidate skills and selects the best one. Utility models for quick estimation of short-term utility and greedily select the best one. And utility models that are enhanced with the exploring strategy of, re of reinforcement learning to obtain more training data. Our proposed model outperforms all these baselines, especially in terms of long-term utility. This proves our model's effectiveness in terms of long-time, in terms of long-sighted recommendation. We also conducted parameter experiments. For example, we tested the influence of the difficulty importance factor which controls the importance of the difficulty utility in the recommendation. 
it turns out that our proposed model always outperforms the baselines, no matter how the difficulty important factor is set. set, it, it set. Then we tested the, the effect of the candidate pool sets. Interestingly, enlarging the candidate pool can largely read the performance of our model, while baseline methods get little help from it. The reason is that the baselines only consider the short-term benefit. The skills that have high short-term benefit are usually highly relevant to the current skill set. So adding more or less relevant skills in the candidate pool influence a little on their selections. In contrast, our model can find, it, find those less relevant skills that potentially benefit in the long term and thus bring higher long term utilities. We conducted case studies on two initial skill sets. We can observe that the candidate pools are highly relevant with the skill sets. For these candidate skills, our system can select the proper skills and tell the user the long-term and short-term salary and difficulty utilities of, these, of each skill. Then, the user can accordingly select according to their preferences. Besides, our system can simulate, can simulate the difficulty and salary along a skill path. This can help the talent to design the skill learning process in the future. Finally, we also compare the recommended learning path of our method with the baseline models. It turns out that our model can give more reasonable learning path recommendations. That's the end of this presentation. Thanks for listening.